Alright, what's up Jens guys? Time for another video. I'm going to talk about another uh, story I seen on the TV news just the other day. And once again, I've given you an article in the beginning of this video to show you. Uh, coming out of the Pittsburgh area and western Pennsylvania. Um, that's my local news. And this is the kind of shit that... Uh, Pisses me off and maybe pisses some of Yin's guys off too. Um, how uh, low of a life form can you possibly be? People that do this shit um, are the lowest scum, the lowest life forms on the planet. And um, whether you're watching this, whether you have any beliefs or not, I'm going to say uh, it's not too late for them. They can still fucking repent. But th this is like. Um, how, how can people even sleep at night and do and be doing this shit? Um, okay, the uh, one woman um, at a giant eagle supermarket, I believe, like at the pharmacy, leaves her purse for one second. And people that should know better than do this shit, even with or without surveillance cameras, like I said, gotta be some low-life scum. And uh, people deserve to be punished anyway. But anyway, leaves a purse just for a minute at the pharmacy. And they catch it on the camera because the woman asked, uh, did the smart thing and uh, before calling the cops, asked them to uh, bring up the surveillance camera. So she was smart that way. She didn't panic. She didn't call the cops right away. I guess the cops were called later, but um, brought up uh, the surveillance camera and saw them. So evidently this person, right under her nose, uh, the height of selfishness and the height of self-interest, uh, not giving a damn about anybody else but themselves, you know, the woman. They don't care that the person they steal for, they need to eat, they need to pay their bills. Of course, the woman had credit cards in there, all, like all her money. Anyway, so the dude takes, there were a couple people involved, three people involved. Takes the purse and automatically starts uh, making multiple purchases, like I guess at a Sheets convenience store. Uh, one uh, person hands it. To the other, which one of them, as far as uh, the latest developments, the one person that uh, they didn't catch yet is on the run. But there'll be new developments. I was actually going to wait to make this video uh, about new developments when they catch this guy, but I don't think it matters. Uh, anyway, uh, person they um, caught there uh, makes thousands of dollars in purchase with the credit cards at a Lowe's. And yeah, if uh, catching it on a the Giant Eagle store surveillance camera is enough. Yeah, so anyway, um, they're stupid enough to make um, a big bunch of big ticket purchases at a Lowe's uh, store. He bought himself a expensive new refrigerator, a bunch of windows for his house, and uh, a new uh, kitchen sink. Oh, wow, uh, yeah, way to go, asshole. I mean, yeah, should we commend him uh, that he actually bought windows for his house and and shit for his house and refrigerator and windows rather than spend it on drugs. Well, geez, does that make him any better because he decided not to spend it on dope? Actually not. He's actually really down there with him as far as unscrupulousness and lack of conscience and lack of uh, regard. Like whether you spend it on dope or whether you... Uh, Greedily buy a uh, bunch of shit for your own, for buying shit for your own house and your own well-being. Top of the line refrigerator at the expense of somebody else who, with a combination of yeah, credit cards, do it at the expense of somebody on their credit cards and money they got in their accounts, and not caring what it does financially to the person who got the shit stolen from them, you know, the cards. Yeah, this, you know, this, these people deserve, um, they don't deserve to have a plea bargain or whatever the hell. But I know some courts will do if they give them a plea bargain. Uh, plea bargain. Plea bargain. Yeah, they give them that, but usually they uh, make them pay massive fines and restitutions of what they deserve. But, Actually, they, they should say, fuck that shit, put their asses in jail, and then, um, 
whether they pay him restitution or not, uh, he should still be made to pay restitution, you know what I'm saying? Uh, should they really be allowed to uh, plea bargain and get less jail time? You know what I mean? No, but you know what they really deserve? People like this really deserve, besides jail, uh, a, a butt spanking over live national television. Yeah, televise that shit. Broadcast a good butt spanking broadcast over live national television. Yep, televise that shit. Uh, what you do is uh, cancel st dumbass shows like Survivor and Big Brother. And then put on television what people really want to see, all right? Uh, a good people like this getting a spanking for a good solid hour. Spank them in the butt until they cry. And then they won't, not just throw the, and then throw their ass in jail. But when you throw it, but that way when you throw their asses in jail, every time they sit down, they'll remember, yeah. Spank them, give a good butt spanking over live television, so... They won't be able to sit down for a year without remembering, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, sometimes uh, whips and chains is the answer. Uh, yeah, butt spankings over live national television. A good belt, a belt across the buttocks. Yeah, you have them face down. Oh, no, the authority is holding their legs and hands face down. And... Somebody with a belt on this side for the left butt cheek and then somebody on this side for the right butt cheek. Matter of fact, put two on each side. You can put two on each side with belt straps and simultaneously spank their, their goddamn ass. I mean, that shit should sound like firecrackers going off. Make an example out of them. I mean, that's really what they should get. Yeah, jail alone doesn't work. But yet, not that I'm adv advocating this too, but... Um, People like you and me really should, not that we're advocating this, but people like you and me, or you watching, should have a healthy fear of not just the police when you do shit like this. What if you uh, do something to like that for, um, against uh, somebody who related to the wrong family? And of course, you can get them out there. You're not to stereotype anybody because they're Italian or whatever they are. I mean, other nationalities have it. Maybe, yeah, they... Yeah, for one thing, yeah, they know they know the police. But what if you get people that, yeah, certain relatives that uh, the police can automatically look the other way and um, really uh, wait till they're not expecting it and then uh, really like um, kind of beat them within inches of their life. No, I'm not not that I'm advocating that, but. Um, that's what, uh, with some of our luck, you know, I'm, you know I'm just, the only thing I'm saying, I'm not advocating that shit, but people like that should have a healthy fear of not doing shit like that against the wrong person, because you don't know who they can be related to. I mean, my stepdad actually taught me that shit. I mean, I didn't like my stepdad all the time, you know what I mean? Uh, I grew up, if I did even lesser things... I was taught a certain value. You do this, you get, somebody will come and beat your ass, like as a teenager, right? But he used to tell me shit like that to never do, uh, because you never know. You might, might be uh, somebody out there, like you know, the yeah, mafia, all that stuff. You know, I mean, I used to believe. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I mean, you can be uh, doing shit to the wrong person, and yeah, uh, really get your ass beaten, then. The police automatically would just look the other way. You never know. I mean, you can have shit happening to you uh, that's actually worse than getting the standard police arrest. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can't say that enough. Yeah, I do shit against the wrong person. But if, if that happens to them, they damn deserve it. I mean, matter of fact, if you believe in karma or believe in curses or whatever the hell too or bad luck upon people like that um like i said they have a capacity to repent and don't realize what they're doing but yeah no reg I, yeah you just can't grasp that no regard for anybody else i mean who's worse a person who steals like a person at gunpoint or a person who's just an opportunist who does the same shit or whatever
or steal something or take something off of somebody right in front of them and then uh, make them uh, do emotional blackmail. There's all kind of ways to steal from people too, but but uh, the uh, the opportunist can uh, do just as much damage to a person's uh, finances um, as the person who does it at gunpoint. But except the person who does it at gunpoint. Uh, he can be in worse trouble. Of, I mean, you know why? You know what I mean? But I'm just saying, the person who is the opportunist and does shit like that, he ain't really any better. They ought to. They ought to be ashamed of themselves. Okay, if you got this far in this video, how would they like it? Say they didn't have the chance to do this to this person. Oh, but if somebody stole one of their purses and all their money. They sure as hell would be running straight to the cops, right? How would they like it if somebody stole from them that way? Yeah, that's a whole different ball game there, too. But yet, um, but anyway, to end this video, yeah, if the judge has the right to make them pay back, say, restitution, and give them whatever jail time they deserve or want, but you know, people that do shit like that are just pieces of garbage.